Hello, welcome to Abba's Kitchen. My name is Abba and you're welcome to Cooking with Abba. Today we're going to look at Kelly Willie. But then if you've not yet subscribed, if not liked, if not shared our page, please do well to click that notification button and then click subscribe as well and do well to share. So as I was saying, we're going to look at Kelly Willie. And Kelly Willie is a Guinean spicy plantain dish. And what it incorporates is plantain and then our local spices. Yes, so our rentia, our ginger, our pepper. Um, that's what goes into it. Now, you'd want to know a little about Kilimali. It's mostly sold out here in the evenings around here, more of a dessert. And Kilimali is very nutritious because it's from plantain. And plantains are a good source of potassium, which is good for your heart. Plantains are also good when it comes to their cholesterol-free nature. The fiber, which is so good for your digestion. And then you realize that our local spices or spices in general, they are also good when it comes to inflammation because of the anti-inflammation properties. They're also good for our skin and our hair. Spices are equally good when it comes to oxidation in our body and our metabolism as a well. whole. So you realize that yes, Kilimali has a blend of the benefits you get from plantain and the benefits you get from spices. If you want to do Kilimali dish, there are some things you need to look out for. Now, first and foremost, you need to consider the type of plantain you are going to use. If you're going to use very soft or ripe plantain, the more ripe your plantain is, the more softer it's going to be. So you'd want to know your preference. If you like hard kelewili or more chewy than soft kelewili, then you need to go for a fairly ripe plantain. Aside from how ripe your plantain is, you the things you need to spice it with, it's dependent on you. You can just use your onion, pepper, garlic. You could also add the local spices. But what makes Kelly really true to the taste is the local spices. So your rintia, your cloves, your pepper, that's what makes your Kelly really stand out. And the longer you're able to marinate it, the better the taste. By marination, I'm talking about the process where you just cut your plantain, you put your spices or you cover it a bit and then let it sit for a while. For the spices to go into the plantain well that gives it more taste and flavor and then you also want to be careful with your kelewele when you're frying now you may have attempted kelewele before and you realize that if you don't take care all the spices will go off the plantain so to be careful with that or to be able to avoid that what you need to do is that you need to get your oil fairly hot then you start frying so when you put it in for the first time, you just spread it out nicely. You allow it to cook on your medium heat, constant medium heat. I'd always recommend you fry on constant medium heat. Because when it's too high at the start, it's going to cook very early. The outer part is going to come out very nice. And then you go in and realize it's not well cooked. If it's also on low heat, what can happen is that you're going to end up having very soggy Kelly with it because it's going to spend more time in there and it's going to absorb more oil. And you know, very soft plantain takes longer to cook, so you need to be careful about that. So, as I was saying, you need to be mindful about the stirring. When you're doing Kelly with it, don't stir it too much. If you stir too much, what's going to happen is the tendency for your spices to fall off your plantain is higher, so you just need to be a bit mindful of that. And as I was speaking about oil. You equally need to be very careful with the quantity of oil you are using. These days, we recommend eating healthy, using less oils and stuff. Oils are necessary, but we need them in moderation. So you first need to check your pan size. If you're using um, a very big pan, you're going to obviously use more oil because it's a deep fry something. So you first need to check the quantity of kilowatt you want to work with. If you're working with a larger quantity, then maybe a bigger pan will do. But if you're doing just a small quantity, then a smaller pan will do. But they need to be mindful of how many times you're going to fry if you're going with a wrong sized pan. And I would also recommend you check the quantity to know the pan to use because at the end of the day, it's not good to overly reuse your oil. So if you're not using good oil, I'd always recommend you use good oils with a less chance fat but then i'll talk about that very soon 
to add back to what I was saying, your killer really, you need to check your pan size and your oil as well. Now, when it comes to our granites, yes, you want to partly boil your granites a bit. And by partly boiling, I'm saying that, yes, cook it 10, 15, 20 minutes. It depends on the quantity you're working with. What that does is that it helps it cook up a bit. So when you are frying, it takes shorter time. Or else you end up spending a lot of time frying to get it well cooked, which may get it more brown. And when it gets very brown, it can get a bit bitter at times. So you'd want to partly boil it a bit. And when you're done boiling, what you want to do is to spread it out for it to air and then dry up, like I'm doing here. So you can just spread your granite out in your tissue paper or in a napkin. Then you just allow it to air. So before you realize it's a bit dry, then you can fry it. So that gives you more taste. And when you're boiling, it's always good to add in your salt when you're boiling so you get it well tasted. If you don't add the salt, it can be a bit flat. But the way you find your granite, I'd also recommend you do it on the medium constant heat. You don't want to start it too high and too low. But then for the granite, you need to be mixing it up a bit. You need to be stirring it a bit so that all the parts can get well fried. And you also want to note that your granite is often ready when you hear the pop, 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 pop sound. When it starts to open up a bit, that means that yes, it's uh, well done. So aside the color, which you need to be careful with, if you're using color to determine whether it's cooked or not, then you need to be careful the temperature you're frying with. But if your temperature is good when it's done, it should be nicely colored brown outside. And then you'd realize that the inside will be cooked. But the thing about granite is that what is hot from right from the fire, sometimes it may look brown and all those things. When you take it from the fire, it may not be crispy. Yes. Granites are not crispy when you take it out from the fire. But when it cools down, then it firms up. It becomes crispy. So don't be too worried when you scoop it out. Yes, you fry it well and then it's brown. But when you scoop it out, it's not too crispy. Doesn't mean that it is not good. But when the air passes on it, as it cools down, it becomes more crispy. So the take home for today from Abba's Kitchen is about oils. Yes, oils. All hands are not the same and then accessibility is also varied so I won't really say that you use this particular oil or not but you need to be careful the type of oils you use if you're using olive oils you know that olive oils they have a temperature they work with so if you're doing deep frying for long hours you need to be considerate I don't want to recommend you use coconut oil but then if not your vegetable oil is okay whether it's the regular vegetable oil, a soya bean oil, a sunflower oil, any other oil at your disposal you can use. Just try not to overly reuse it. In Ghana, we are fond of reusing, reusing, reusing our oil, but then it's not overly healthy. So I would not recommend you reuse your oil too much. So the take home is that you need to be mindful of the type of oil you are using. Let's eat healthy, let's stay healthy. But then if you can't access good grade oil, you can always make do with the oil you have but just make sure you check the reuse don't overly reuse the oil because with the reuse reuse the temperatures and things your oil gets degraded and it's not too healthy but please do well to try this kelly dish out take a picture of it email it to me send it to me on the comment section here you can equally do it on my Instagram or Facebook page and I'll be glad you really tried it. So I see you next time in my next food episode. Stay healthy, be happy, live life. And then together, let's make every food moment count. Lots of love for my team here. Mwah.